Now you may be wondering what a VVT solenoid and an oil filter have to do with each other and why they could cause a check engine light. Well, that's what we're going to talk about, plus some related issues you may run into with a valve cover. A VVT solenoid is a variable valve timing solenoid valve that's going to change the timing of the engine so you're going to get better fuel economy and more horsepower in a smaller engine. It's going to feel like you have a bigger motor than you actually do. Some of the symptoms you're going to have when these start to fail is a check engine light. You may notice some drivability, running rough issues, and in worst cases, your vehicle may even stall. And in the event that the check engine light comes on with a VVT solenoid related code, a lot of times people think just changing their engine oil, clearing out the code, and you're good to go. It's not always the case. You could have caused some internal damage to the valve itself because you're not changing the oil all the time and these are very sensitive. So if you need a valve or other parts that we're gonna talk about in the video, you can get those from morningauto.com. Maintaining your vehicle with proper oil changes is gonna help prevent damage to the BVT solenoids. Doing this yourself, you're gonna know whether the condition of the fluid is extremely dirty and maybe you have to change it more often than not, and the level, and you may not get that information if you brought it somewhere. On most vehicles, you're gonna change your engine oil every 5,000 miles. That's if it has synthetic oil, but it's always a good idea to check the owner's manual. In between that interval though, you're gonna to wanna to check it once in a while. Take the dipstick out, wipe it with a clean rag. That way you can see the condition of the oil. It really doesn't look good. It's pretty dark, it needs to be changed. And then you can check the level as well. Reinsert it. and this level is low on this vehicle. So we're gonna change the oil anyway. Part of your oil change is replacing the filter. Some vehicles have a traditional spin-on type filter and a lot of the newer vehicles are gonna have a cartridge type filter. These are generally on the top side of the engine and the spin-ons you normally get from underneath. You can see the difference between these two oil filters. This one has been in there way too long. It's starting to crumble and crush and that's not good because eventually you're gonna get a crack in here and you're gonna get unfiltered oil going through the engine or it's gonna significantly decrease the amount of pressure and flow through the engine and you're gonna end up with other problems. So if you see your filter looking like this, then you haven't been changing your oil soon enough. If your vehicle's oil was low while you're changing the oil, take a look around, see if there's any evidence where it could be draining out. If you don't see anything, chances are it's burning it and it could be related to the valve cover. So let's talk about that. You might be wondering why a failed valve cover would cause your engine oil to burn. Well, that's because the new style valve covers have the PCV system integrated into the valve cover itself. Whereas years ago, you could get a PCV valve separate and just replace it every time you're doing a tune-up. That's not normally the case with the new style covers. Looking on the valve cover, you can see right here, there's a port that goes to the intake. So the internal crankcase gases will actually go through there. But when it fails, oil is gonna travel through there as well. If you're burning a lot of oil, you're gonna notice blue smoke in the exhaust. And if you let this go too long, you're gonna end up with catalytic converter failure. And you don't want that. With the valve cover off, there's a good amount of carbon buildup on that. It's also on the engine side, and that is due to lack of oil changes. You don't want that carbon buildup going through the engine. That could also clog up the VVT solenoids and cause more issues. So make sure you change your engine oil. In the end, it's just easiest to change your engine oil about every 5,000 miles. Make sure you check it every 1,000 miles. Keep that level up there so you can avoid some of these other repairs you don't want to do.